Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about an experiment I've been doing over the last four or five weeks and that's using a product called neem cake and neem oil in my starting mix and I'll go over the recipe and talk more about it in detail in a second. I've been looking really for a way to manage, manage um, fungus gnats, um, funguses, diseases in seed starting mix and over the last five years I've used neem oil out in the garden. It's been extremely effective. I love the product, love the neem tree, love everything that comes from it. To make neem oil, you take the neem fruit, the nut, you crush it down through a cold pressing process, you get the neem oil, and then you're left with a byproduct that is often formed into pellets or into some sort of um, powder, and you can use this in your garden. It's organic. These are four flats that I've been using neem cake and neem oil directly in the starting mix at planting time. And the first thing that you always worry about is anything that you add into a starting mix, will it harm the germinating seed? And the answer based on this is no. This is from over the last week. No problems here whatsoever. This is uh, all basil over here. These are different kinds of herbs doing very, very well. I'm not concerned at all about the neem cake and the neem oil affecting germination. Here are some more things. Different uh, cool weather greens. No troubles whatsoever there. This is my pepper flat that's been uh, probably up for about two weeks. Germination is fine. The seeds that haven't germinated, germinated yet are just slower to germinate for you know the pepper varieties. No issues whatsoever. And this is the older one that has chives, thyme, peppers, different kinds of lettuces, all doing really well. So number one, no germination issues from using neem oil and neem cake in your starting mix. These are organic products, 100% organic. The neem tree has had its products used in India for 2,000 years or longer. Look up neem tree, neem oil and read about it. It's a wonderful, wonderful tree for helping us manage pests and disease. So, like I said, it doesn't affect germination, so how am I using this? This is one gallon of starting mix, dry starting mix, and basically how I do it is I just cut the bottom out of a milk jug, scoop it up, put it in there, that's one gallon of dry starting mix. Now to that, I add two teaspoons of the neem oil. This is dry, it's not wet yet. Don't add the water till the end. This is the recipe that I've been using. Just pour it across the whole mix. You want every drop, so put a little in there and scrape off the oil stuck on the spoon. This is the pelleted neem cake. Three tablespoons into water. Let it sit in the water for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. And then I bend a spoon like this, just so you can stick your thumb in, crush the pellets down, and you get a nice crushed mix. And just pour that into your starting mix. Now, this is organic. It has the qualities that are found in the neem oil that help with managing pests and diseases, but it's also a fertilizer. It has NPK in it um, because it's a natural product, and that will be something that your seedlings and plants can feed off of. Now, it's not 100% water-soluble NPK. That means it's not readily available to your plants, but over time, when you, you know, transplant it up into cups and stuff like that, that will break down and that will be available to your plant. Plus, it's going to protect the root system. A lot of times, the neem cake is used to deal with nematodes, especially in Florida or the warm areas. So now that you've added your products, add in some water, and I just want to show you the mixing because this is what's most important. Not exciting, but important. Is you want to just keep pushing the starting mix to the middle, grinding it up, and really dispersing the neem cake pellets that were crushed up 
and a neem oil through the starting mix. Rub it through just like that. Break it up. Don't oversaturate this. And spend a good five minutes mixing through this and you get the idea. Just taking what's on the outside, dropping it in the middle. And this is how I'm using neem cake for its fertilizing properties that are there. Also for its antifungal, for its um, properties that help manage insects and the neem oil. This sets up your starting mix so that you can really have a base that's going to help manage pests and disease in your seed starts. Nothing fancy. That's the setup. Now, I do a second process once we have the starting mix in there. This is water. I've been showing you my recipe for neem oil spray. I cut out the soap because it's just not needed. Only because in a small container like this, we can shake it uh, vigorously every time we make a spray. The soap helps disperse the oil through there, but if you can shake it up, you'll be fine. And I'm putting about one teaspoon, get rid of that dirt, into the spray or into the quart container. You could do te two teaspoons if you want. And this is how I'm using neem products to deal with funguses and disease in my starting mix. Just shake it up. You'll see the oil disperses through there. And then I like to soak the top down. And the reason I do that is if there's any fungus gnats, which I have them in my closet because, you know, they just show up. No matter what you try and do, they show up. So you try and manage down any insects, you try and manage down any funguses, you try and manage down any diseases so your plants aren't affected. By putting a spray of neem oil on top of here, any fungus gnats or insects or any funguses or spores that get on here are going to be hit with the neem oil and that's going to affect their development at different levels. And just so you know, neem oil has a component called azadirectin plus other components, but the azadirectin is a chemical compound that if it gets on the insects, if it gets inside the insects, it kills them in some capacity. It also affects eggs, it can affect fungus growth, it can do so many different kind of things, and it's 100% organic. I really recommend this setup for your seed starting mix. Hope you enjoyed the video. It just gives you some idea of how you can use neem cake and neem oil to have a better seed starting mix. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.